Imagine, you're sitting down at the beach. You look at your feet and a tiny anthill buzzes along with hundreds of little residents. Looking up, you see a sandpiper strolling along the beach searching for snacks in the sand. And not far away, a pond has formed, providing shelter to thousands of tadpoles well on their way to becoming full-grown frogs. These many species represent the biodiversity or variety of life found on this shoreline. Biodiversity is the entire makeup of life in an environment, whether that environment is your backyard or the Gobi Desert. Over the course of billions of years, species have become specialized based on competition and their environment. These species rely on one another to maintain a balance with their environment, which we call an ecosystem. Biodiversity takes place on two levels, genetic and species. Genetic biodiversity is the amount of a different trait within a single species, variations like size and coloring. Species diversity is all about the number of different species within a single ecosystem. So why is biodiversity important? Well, let's take a look at two ecosystems, one high in biodiversity and one with only a few species. All the predators are on one side and the prey are on the other. Take a wolf out of the high diversity ecosystem and another predator steps in to keep the rabbits under control. But when you take the wolf from the low diversity ecosystem, there isn't a predator to take its place. The rabbits overpopulate, decimate the local plant population, and the entire ecosystem could be in trouble. Biodiversity is also very important to humans. Our food and shelter comes from plants and animals, and we get most of our medication from the tropical rainforest. These rainforests are considered to have the highest biodiversity in the world. Covering less than 2% of the Earth's total surface area, rainforests are home to more than 50% of the planet's plant and animal life. Unfortunately, human influence is drastically threatening biodiversity around the world. Logging and monocrop agriculture are shrinking the world's rainforest at an alarming rate. Overfishing decimates fish population and breaks down the food chain for other species. Invasive species hitch a ride on boats into new ecosystems and with no natural predators spread like wildfire. While it may seem like there's no solution to such a big problem, there are small things we can all do to protect the vast array of life on Earth. Sustainable tree farming can limit further encroachment by logging companies into our precious forest by growing one tree for every one tree cut down. Federal wildlife reserves keeps the ecosystem safe from our influence. Breeding programs for endangered species can have success in bringing populations back to stable levels. This planet would be a lonely place without other species. Biodiversity is very important to all life, and doing our best to protect it is a part of our species maintaining a balance with our environment. <laughs>